is turning point like a carousel. Yes, Han the King, paint the picture, Norman Rockwell. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, it's your cousin, it's your family, it's the guy you know, Bright the MC. Welcome to Look on the Bright Side. And today, I have my family in the building. Gina Wright, what's popping? Oh, it's good. It's <laughs> <laughs> so good to see you, man. Oh, likewise, likewise. I haven't seen you in, in so long. I miss you, love you. And cuz like I can't I can't wait to see you. And what what's been what's been going on with you as of late? Living, maintaining, working, grinding, just trying to just stay above. You feel me? Like not let myself get down, even though sometimes you do feel down. You just be like, you know what? Let me just keep pushing. <laughs> let me just keep pushing. Yeah, but you know, just working on music, working, working. Uh, you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> got it. Stay, you got you have to stay busy, especially with all this stuff going on. You know, all the it's a lot of mess distractions going on right now. So you have to find like your element of comfort. You know, you definitely have to find your comfort zone of comfort and peace. Peace, peace of mind is priceless. <laughs> because let me tell you, it everything is so chaotic. Yeah, you have to find something within you that gives you that comfort and peace and thankfully music does that and i'm able to make music even on the days that i'm like i can't make nothing i just touch something like oh inspiration there you go <laughs> <laughs> you know so I, I i remember you know growing up we was coming up i would come by you know you all's house we would come by there and it, i come see you know jose your brother and and and, and then I noticed one thing about the house. It was always a piano in the house. <laughs> and a keyboard. <laughs> yeah, the keyboard and the keyboard. So so your influences of music coming up, you know, what would what got you started in the music? My mother. You know, first. Because, you know, at first I was like, I'm not gonna play this. No, no, no. But it was something about it that I actually like to do. I like hitting the notes and see what I can do with it. The only yeah. thing was, of course, my mom being a music teacher, I was not allowed to really do anything other than, you know, church music or Beethoven and all these types of things. But it prepared me to be able to do things that don't sound like what's out yeah yeah i can attest to that because you know the rich history of just knowing the fact that classical music was instilled in you it gives you like all the intangibles to create stuff that makes it unique you know what i'm saying and you have a you have a very rich tone in your singing you know, you, you sound like a mini 2.0, so you do have your own elements, you know. But that matter of fact, I ain't even let, let me let me play, let me play something. Let me I'm gonna go to this video. <laughs> I hope I wasn't flat. Scrambled eggs, grits, grab my keys, grab my purse, grab my jacket all to work, beaming all the way down third. Is it the way? what i'm talking about right there so it's best to just show them and tell them you know we are from a small town in mississippi called prentice 
what was it like growing up? Now, I know you've been around, well, you just recently in Maryland. Yeah. So what is it like, you know, from where you from to where you were, you know, what what's some of the differences you, you first noticed being away from the little town in Mississippi? Well, first, you know, I went to college, FAMU, FAMU. Tallahassee, Florida. So Tallahassee, to me at that time, seemed big. But then leaving Tallahassee, going to Tampa, it was like, oh, Tallahassee was very small. You know, and then leaving Tampa, going somewhere else, you know. DMV, what you mean the DMV? Like the the Department of Motor Vehicles? It was like, no, country. (laughs) No, country bumpkin talking about DC, Maryland, the Virginia. I'm like, yeah. oh, okay. And you know, leaving Tampa, moving out there, totally different. So, thankfully, my parents were able to take us places. Yeah, get you out the house. To let us see Chicago, Wisconsin. Yeah. You know, Texas, you know, so I was like, oh, there's something so much more bigger out here than just Prentice, where the kids can only play at a park. But small park. <laughs> small park with like one swing that's going to really work. Y- yes. And, and the merry and the merry go around and the slide that will burn the skin <laughs> off your body. Hey, that Marigold Ryan needs some bearings in it. Like it's Man, because I have seen plenty of kids thrown <laughs> away from the Marigold Ryan. Like, plenty. <laughs> like, especially when you get like two people spinning and they boom, boom, boom. You lose your life. Or you <laughs> so, oh, man. it was so different. And, you know, like, with leaving a place, yeah, talking to other people that was like, "What? Y'all don't have a Popeyes? You don't have a McDonald's? What? Yeah. You don't have a Walmart?" He's like, "Bro, I'm trying to tell you, we got a Piggly Wiggly. What's a Piggly yeah. Wiggly?" Yeah, and and back was <laughs> you know back in when you was a you know knee high to a cricket, they had sunflower. You know what I'm saying? I remember sunflower. Now don't be acting like. <laughs> I don't know much. <laughs> you know, so that's, the, but you know what? That gave me a lot of appreciation about the simple things. Absolutely. You, know, you get out here in the, in the world and, you know, the hustle of bu- hustle and bustle of society and they all are, you know, moving, interchanging parts and how everything is, is moving you know, if you if you don't have a sense of direction of where you're going, you'll get distracted easily about the things around you that's moving. You know, um, and and knowing that where we come from, we have a sense to where we can we stay grounded. You know, under pressure or I don't know. I guess that was what was instilled in us. I'm I'm gonna I'm mention this to you. <laughs> Remember vacation Bible schools coming up? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Those those are the things like we we can appreciate that nostalgic vibe and coming up. So I I miss those days and you know, I'm I miss those days. So where where are you now? You still in the DMV? I am in Hammond, Louisiana. Oh, well, you close to where I am. I am back south. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. back you, south. Did, did you miss it? You missed you missed the south? Yeah. When I first moved to the DNV. You were waving at everybody. I would just be courteous if we looking eye to eye, I'm gonna be like, like you, you or like up or down. But like, yeah, like, yeah. like you looking at me, so hey, you know. And the first time I did that, I got like, I'm like, whoa, okay. So people out here are very rude, got it. But I think the background that we had, I know for me, it prepared me to be able to deal with anybody. 
in any place. But I really believe it just because I was exposed to things at a young age. So I was able to see the way my parents did things. Because both of my parents, you already know this, they could talk to anybody. Like the yeah. like the up of the ups or the drunk on the street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think yeah. And, I, and I think I think being being exposed to that it made you it made it, it was an advantage to you um because you wasn't one dimensional. Some people can't have an entertaining conversation, some people can't have lucrative conversations. You know, conversations of meaning, or you know, and that purposeful conversation. But right. I think that translates to your ability to make music. Hmm. That you wasn't always one dimensional, and you've always okay. been able to create and do different things. Because I, I really, what um, we we just started working together what a few days ago. Yeah. And and if those that I mean, I'm gonna tell you, um, Gina, Gina is dope with the tracks like she she can create write music you know sing beautifully and as you already heard it and the good thing about it you know um i i, I got the hookup <laughs> i'm just saying like i really i really you know what i'm saying enjoy like talking to you because what is some of the what is some of the music growing up that you remember and, and what about that music that drew you into it? Okay, so I can say probably from kindergarten that I could recall. So from kindergarten to about third grade, mm-hmm. it was really gospel music. Christian rock, Christian pop. Christian my mom was like, what are you? Why, why <laughs> we can't just listen to some regular music? You're going to listen to Christian rock? Yeah. Like, no. So, you know, but after my brother came, let me see, after my brother started to drive. So he used to pick me up from school. From school, yeah. I'm guessing he probably was like 16, 17. So after that, I was exposed to other genres. I was exposed to hip hop and R&B. So I was like, oh wow, but the song that changed my life, Prince, was If I Gave You Diamonds and Pearls. Yeah. That song made me want to make music like that. One, two, three, go. It's getting hard for me to hold my own. See, nobody wants to be in love alone. So I'm trying my best not to overreact. But I need to know right now, no last chance facts. So if you love me, just say so Cause I can't play these games with you no more So if you love me, just say so I need to know from you right now before I go Because I was like, who is this? And he was like, this is Prince. And I'm like, let me see this. And I looked up, why he got on all this purple stuff? He's looking like that. He was like, man, look. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, okay. Started listening to Prince. Like, Purple Rain. And I was like, yeah. this is music. It has yeah. instruments in it. It is yeah. great. It's not necessarily like church music, but it's not like, you know, like yeah then the, then the, you know but i wanted to hear all of those music so he was the reason why i was exposed to everything and then from there i started listening to rock alternative yeah. pop punk country 
Just because I'm like, well, if this sounds good, all music can't sound bad. So let me see. And so from that, it started from, you know, church to being exposed to this and then just venturing off. Yeah, so. I remember, I remember, I remember Uncle Sonny, I remember Sonny was playing Bobby Bland, Bobby Womack, you know what I'm saying, Tyrone Davis and the OJs and let me tell you something, you knew, you knew what was going on like in a household or back in the day because you know our parents always said that you know my my side we always had like the little cookouts fish fries yeah man see y'all i love when i was like oh where we gonna go <laughs> and, listen to some music <laughs> yeah and okay, so i i knew like one day i'm not gonna call this lady's name but she was by our house and I guess she was having some problems or something, but I heard this song come on the radio and it said, Woman to woman, have you ever been in love? Hey, look, this is the first thing she was, hey, look, she had, she had the cards <laughs> in her hand, like, she had the cards in her hand, she was like, mm, mm. <laughs> So, you know, I, 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 I knew right then that people's moods reflected the music you know it had an impact so when i started creating music i created music that i wanted to have that same impact on people you know what i'm saying and and i think that's what you do when you put those infuse those elements in your music you take a piece of all that and put it in because i don't know too many sisters that was playing bach and beethoven you know at, at before the age of 10. <laughs> yeah Chaplin and Tukowski yeah. and yeah. I'm probably missing a whole bunch of them but I played because my mother had the piano encyclopedia volumes 1 through 16 which started wow. in the 18 hundreds period yeah. Yeah. So every piece yeah. of music from the 1800s all yeah. the way down from so the romance period the classical period the this yeah. period Impressionist. the yeah. whole encyclopedia so she would tell me to go to book number four pick out something that you want to learn how to play that's dope though that's it dope, is man. and you see now looking back on it oh, i took all that for granted no you no i don't think i don't think you did it's because if you did you wouldn't be able to say um you wouldn't be able to identify or remember anything from that period you know what i'm saying so so like it's still it's, it's been instilled in you and it's stuck it did you know, stick. It stuck. It i did. was i was told though know, coming up <laughs> sonny told me one time we had to write we had to write like a story right <laughs> And you know, he was big on education. Like, you gonna do right in school, right? Because on doll. Yeah, because grandma, you know, rest in peace, grandma, you know. Yeah, rest in peace, yeah. Um, so look, <laughs> I said, I don't know, he said, you better make something up and it better be good. <laughs> I started like my creative writing it right there. And I remember I, I didn't know my timetables and he sat at the table and he had some dominoes and he broke out some dominoes and he was like, here, shuffle them up. Six, six and five. What's six times five? And you know, I was like, oh, 11. He was pow. I'm like, oh, 30, 30. <laughs> I, but that's, that's, that's how it was back then. And then you look at education now, you know, it's a lot different the way we teach. That's why I was making that point because you haven't forgotten those things. They've been in they've been in you. Right. So it's just yeah. the way you learn those things and now you can apply it to any method any way you want. So you can implement to how you fit. So Right. Yeah. I mean, I didn't think of it that way. But my older brother played trumpet. 
trumpet. Right? Yeah. Ooh. After my dad, after our dad passed, I was nine. I was, of course, probably acting out, obviously. You know. Yeah. But my brother was trying to chastise me. It's like, you ain't about to whoop me. You ain't my daddy. You know, all of that. Absolutely. He made me play trumpet. Trumpet. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I ain't gonna play trumpet like you. I don't wanna be like you. Lies. But let me tell you, that was a really good punishment because one, these things back here, on yeah, fire. Yeah, if you're not used to it. Fire, but that's what he knew was going to happen. But he also knew yeah, that I was open, so open, determined. They they, up. They, then ooh, it's like a burning sensation, like a scratching. It's just ooh, it's like yeah. it's like a feeling that I'd never experienced on fire. But he also knew that I was going to be determined to prove him wrong. And I'm thankful because that I, I play trumpet. <laughs> That's dope. All right, so let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. So I'm I'm in um I'm in Columbus, Georgia. I'm with my uncle and he's stationed in Fort Benning. Okay. And mm-hmm. I was going to Spencer High School in, in Columbus in Fort Benning, Georgia, right? So we watched Tuskegee play Morehouse. So we're at the game, my auntie, my uncle, and I, we watching the game. I'm a kid. And I'm watching the game and, and the football game really <laughs> it really wasn't too entertaining. It was just like it was basically not knocking the programs. It was just like watching a high school football game, you know. But it was like, <laughs> no no cap, no cap, no cap. So so I look up, I see a guy playing a trumpet. I had a solo. And I look and I I told my auntie, I said, hey, that's my cousin. And it's like, you don't know him. I'm like, I'm like, I know him. That's my cousin. His name Jose. You know, I, I, you don't know him. I'm like, yes, I do. So after the game and everything, and I went up to him and, and he was sweaty. He had, you know, he had the uniform after he took the hat off. <laughs> Now, you know, open the buttons up, you know, get some air. That was... in there. Yes, sir. Good Lord. And, and he, he, he was like, you know, I ain't going to tell you my name. Like, you know, he called me. Yeah, of course I do. Yeah. <laughs> and then he was like, what's up, cousin? And my uncle was like, uh, you, you, you know, I'm like, yeah, that's my cousin. You know, and, and. And then it was looking like, oh, okay. And I hugged him and everything. I, man, I went back to school. I was so proud. I was like, damn, I see my cousin. He played like with Tuskegee in the middle of the field. Uh, and played on there like, so? Like, I was like, <laughs> 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 that's something to me. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Uh, that's why I've always been the type that I love to see people do good, especially family. So I love to see you, you know, progress and, and, and make the right decisions and do the right things and to get the right results. Because that's overall, ultimately, that's what makes us happy. You feel me? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Yeah. So that's how my little thing started. Yeah. So, so. Talk, let's talk about you know we getting towards the end so let's talk about your music um company and 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 what artists can find your tracks and are you open to you know singing any choruses making jingles you know let let, let the people know how they get, get in touch with you, you know what i'm saying okay like, so if you're on ig if you're on twitter if you're on instagram well i, I just said that ig twitter facebook gina wright that's it. J I N A W R I G H T. Um, my music company with me and my business partner, we named it and paid homage to my, my mom, mm-hmm. PearlVisionMusic.com. Right. Um, so, so you can read, you can listen to beats on www.pearlvisionmusic.com or my sound cloud, which is Gina Wright. So you can go to either place. Um, you want to purchase beats my prices are reasonable i ain't gonna you know bang you over the head with the prices but i mean they ain't free <laughs> so and that's gina with a j that's with a j j-i-n-a-w-r-i-g-h-t 
That's J. Um, and yes, absolutely. I am open to singing hooks. Um, if you already have a hook that you have, I can sing it. If you need me to write a hook, I can do that. Um, jingles, absolutely. Hey, my name is Gina, and it's really nice to meet you. I know you don't know me, but let me introduce myself. See, I make music, and I really love to do it. Oh, so if you like what I post, just let me know. Yeah, I write a little bit, and I sing sometimes, but I don't want to be an artist. Yeah, I know that's wild, but if that's your passion, then you should hit me up. Cause I got beats, but they ain't free. I got beats. I got beats. I got beats. But they ain't free. Ain't never gonna be free. Ain't never gonna be free. Ain't never gonna So go to PearlVisionMusic.com. You know, I used to think that I wanted to work and make jingles for companies, but that didn't happen. So <laughs> here I am. But you, but you know what? I, I have some connections and um, people that I'm gonna line you up with, so you can do those jingles. Oh. So I'm, I got you. Sure. So you, you can, re, you can sure. revisit that. You can revisit okay. that. Actually, actually, I just emailed you uh, two 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 tracks that we're we're gonna work on together and create okay. a jingle. Okay. Now, just for me, where is this studio? Because <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> You're always welcome, cuz. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm gonna be there. Yep. I know that's right. So, <laughs> so um, I'm gonna play a few more um, on your TikTok. Okay. And so everyone just, you know, we'll see you right back. Look on the bright side, bright the MC. We're gonna wrap the show up. So we're gonna check out some more TikTok videos, especially this one. Uh, Sam Cook, the changes don't come. <laughs> all right all right y'all we back i hope y'all enjoyed the you know the tiktok videos definitely gonna see more coming from gina uh i want everyone to follow gina on instagram i to find her on youtube twitter everything you know all across across all platforms hey y'all go out there and check out them tracks they're dope um them cats out there looking for some neo soul she got it boom bap she got it pop whatever bro she she has it you looking for some inspirational music if you're looking for music for your uh tiktok you know twitch like any any kind of music that's original that's dope get cousin up you know what i'm saying Even if you Just have like an it. idea let me know and i could listen to, to that and be like okay i could do that yeah because she yeah trust me all right, so look, we're at the end of the show, and uh, what we do at the end of the show, you're going to drop some words of encouragement. I'm going to hand you the mic, and you're going to end it with the phrase, look on the bright side. So everybody, glad y'all came. Glad y'all showed up. You was always invited. Jenny Wright, take us home. Take one day at a time. And even if the day is too long, take one hour, one minute, one second. Look on the bright side. Bow! <laughs> Damn. Cause, matter of fact, I need a jingle for the show. But you already got one that's like hitting in and out. <laughs> Bam. Hit us in the face, in and out. You already okay, got one. Okay. You already got one, cuz. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. <laughs> this is 
dyslexic moment, please, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I definitely enjoyed, man. And and you always welcome. So what I'm gonna do some from time to time, we're gonna critique some music. We're gonna look at I'm gonna get in touch with some artists and we're gonna listen to some of their music. And we're gonna critique some music and we're gonna get into some some good music. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get it because I love some good music. I do. We're gonna get, we're gonna get into some good music. So um Everyone, I enjoyed it. Much love to you all. Glad you all came. And we'll see you next week. Look on the bright side with your host, Bright the MC. Always tune in. Follow me on YouTube, Instagram. It's already at the bottom. And when you're looking down, look up. Bright the MC. <laughs> all right. God bless. Peace. Oh, no. I mean, he also said that there are things that you can do that might bring back some of what you've lost. I mean, we could talk about the good old days, reminisce with old friends. I know you have to look on the bright side. I've had a lifetime of bright sides. I'll just have to learn to do without them.